Okay, welcome everyone. So in today's tip we're going to talk about setting up Twitter lead generation cards and using them in your marketing. So first step, as I said, was to go to um, Twitter ads website and register for a free account. All you need to do is enter your card details, uh, payment card details under your payment methods and this will fully activate your account and let you use all different features. Um, even if you don't use any advertising, you can still use this account because it provides very good analytics tools. So under analytics window, you can explore what kind of uh, tweets produce results, which ha generate more response, um, like engagement, leads, clicks, retweets. Um, also under analytics, you can view more information about your followers. So you can find out where they're from, cities, countries, what kind of interests they have and also here you can find out more about other profiles that your followers follow in mostly. So this is similar tool to having uh, Facebook insights for your Facebook page where you can find out more about your Facebook fans. Uh, so today we're gonna look at creatives cards and then this functionality helps us to create a lead generation card that we can use with all our tweets. So when you start using lead generation cards, this creates your menu here and then you'll need to create, click the link to create the first lead generation card. This then takes you to the following window where you can enter your information about for the card. So the first box is your short description which is effectively a description for your call to action what your followers will get when they click the link and then you need to add the image for your lead generation card you need to pay attention to these requirements for the picture so the size, dimensions, aspect ratio and on my example here this is the card image that my followers will see the call to action information is what goes on the actual button so you can put things like sign up now, download now access it now or register today and so on. Um, privacy policy URL is a link from your website. Uh, it's a page where you describe how you use your followers information, how you make sure it's secure, safe and that you don't sell it to third parties and spam and so on. Destination URL is optional is if you want your followers to be sent to a different website um, or a page on your website once they've subscribed. Typically on that page you will talk about that they need to go to their email account to confirm their email address um, so that they can receive their free download um, because usually you would have a two-step double opt-in process for any sign up system like that. Uh, the important part that we need to look at is your data settings you need to make sure you configure this information to work with your Twitter generation card because otherwise um, all your leads will be stored on a Twitter system and you'll have to regularly log in, download an um, Excel file, CSV file and then upload all those leads into your email marketing system so there will be a constant delay between people signing up for your uh, email campaign and you actually importing them into your campaign and starting sending them the information they requested. So the best way to run this is to generate a link between Twitter account and your email marketing software. Um, you should be able to link most popular systems like MailChimp, Aweber, Infusionsoft um, and below this video I'll put the link for the blog post where you can find information uh, on how to link your generation card with your email marketing system. Typically you would need s several bits of information. So you submit URL, which is where your form with information is submitted to. Um, your system might provide these custom key names. So mine are generated from MailChimp, but Aweber and other systems will have their own custom key names. And then typically you'll have several of those custom hidden data values which tell your email marketing system, so MailChimp or Weber, um, which account you're using and which list those people need to go on. So it could be several keys of numbers and digits that you need to paste 
and this will be done. Once you've updated your card or saved it for the first time, Twitter will run a test. It will send some just duplicate information to your list and ensure that this information is recorded correctly. And then if the test has been passed, then you can start using this card. Um, also, at this stage, it's advised that you log into your email marketing system and actually check in your list that you've received your test information, so your own details. They've been recorded properly in your list. And if it's always working, then you can click Yes. And now your card is ready to use. So what you can do is you can clone cards. If you can create multiple versions of similar card, you can vary things like this description, a picture, or call button, and then you can test which card works, works best for your marketing. Um, you can edit the card and you can compose it with. So if you compose it with, you'll see that you get this link for your card, which all you need to do to use the card is use this link in all the Twitter messages that you'll create. You don't have to use a promoted campaign. You can use those links with any Twitter messages you send. So what I've done once I've created my card is I started using this link with Twitter messages I've already been sending promoting my opt-in and this seven steps to online marketing e-course. Um, those links then went all into the Hootsuite campaign and uh, they were used on a regular basis. But you can also set up a promoted tweet so promoted tweets will only be used in your promoted tweet campaign and then you can say that you want this promoted tweet to be used in one of your promoted campaigns and you can also say uh, what dates and times you want it to be used. Um, and also what you can do from this interface, you can just write a tweet here and tweet it straight away. Now why would you want to use those cards? So we can look at analytics again staying within the Twitter Ads dashboard. So Twitter Cards Analytics will tell you how many tweets were sent, impressions, so how many people actually saw those tweets. And then it will tell you information like URL clicks and install attempts. This information is for my unpaid campaign because I also had a paid campaign and those information was stored separately. So if you use different types of cards, not just lead generation card, then you can track information about different type cards and how they were performing, uh, which cards um, created the most links with tweets, and which sources. So in my case, all, all of the impressions came from a Hootsuite campaign. But if you use Twitter cards linked to your website, then some of those sources would be listed here. Uh, so some examples you could use to promote your products and services using Twitter lead generation cards. So number one, for example, here, a Barista Coffee Bar is promoting their coffee club membership. You can see that their button says join the club. And the picture is quite visual, eye-catching. It's got a coffee cup, it's got use, good use of colors and fonts. So when someone's scrolling through their Twitter strip, they can easily see this picture and it will catch their attention. And another I image, so if you are a business person or an author speaker, then you can use your own picture and your name to promote what you're doing. Um, and then the button on this example says join now. And then the final offer I wanted to show you was Express Deals Hotel Coupon Save 10% off your hotel. So if you sign up, you'll get a special offer delivered straight to your inbox. And the button says Sign Up and Save. So as you can see, there are different examples for different types of businesses that all successfully using Twitter lead generation cards. The good news is because you can use those cards straight from your Twitter stream. So your followers don't need to go to a different website to sign up. All they need to do is just click one button and sign up for your newsletter, sign up to get a special offer, your free report, your e-course, and you can start emailing them this e-course or free offer that you're promoting straight away. So it saves time and it increases your conversion ratio. And these are again examples of those direct response 
tweet messages that I talked about in a, a different blog post on the website. Hope you enjoyed this tweet. So your action for this week is to go on Twitter, sign up for a Twitter business account and create uh, your first lead generation card, link it to your email account, send a few tweets out and let me know how you're getting on. Thank you very much. Bye.